This Mass is offered for the following intentions. In honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary, thanksgiving to the Divine Mercy and Our Lady of Perpetual Succor for biopsy results of Pamela Mascarenus, in honor of Saint Rock, in thanksgiving to the Holy Spirit and Padre Pio, thanksgiving to Our Lady of Assumption for well-being of the family and the house, in thanksgiving to Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Saint Anthony, and Our Lady of Mount Mary, thanksgiving to Jesus and Mary for good health of Wavell and Nisha de Souza, thanksgiving to Mother Mary, good health and welfare of Mary Anthea Rao, Doris and Melville Rodericks, thanksgiving for recovery from COVID-19, thanksgiving to Our Lady for keeping our family safe, for peace, good health and happiness of Matilda Van Rijn and family, and peace in the world. Thanksgiving for favors received, Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary, and Padre Pio for securing a job, for promotion and good health and countless blessings received by Del Cardos, good health and birthday blessings for Assumption Harrison Pereira, James Nongram, Lorna D'Souza, Rohan D'Souza, Assumption Besaukar, Don Dias, Evie D'Souza, Ronan D'Souza, Mary Menezes, Nathan Lawrence, Alvin De Costa, Frederick Darmai, Ashunto De Souza, Cassie Sequera, Maria Marwa Singh, birthday remembrance for Father Marion Fernandez, Francis Andrade, Alan Darmai, Dolly De Souza, Michael Vaz, Morgan De Souza, Archie Rodericks, thanksgiving for all favors and blessings received by Mildred Grace D'Souza and family, for the souls of Bishop Patrick Nair, Father Ivo D'Souza, Father Maximian D'Souza, Father Osborne Pereira, Sylvester DeMello, Al and Eva Pereira, our freedom fighters, Petlin Vesauker, Deacon Elvin D'Souza, Nancy Peter D'Souza, Mary Cajetan DeMello and the deceased members of the family, Nitin Chonkar, Catherine Rodericks, Reggie and Ursula Steed, and the deceased members of the family, Alfred and Blanche Diaguiar, Ignatius John Mascarenus, Theotone Philomena and Philip Cutino, Bertha Dias, Cinderella de Silva, and Margaret Gonzalez, the deceased members of the D'Souza family, Violet Machado and Dominic Poswaiti, Joyce and Jovino de Souza, Matthew and Philu Fernandez, Joyston Nerona and Souls in Purgatory, Custodio Cornero, Mabel Gracious, Christine de Lima, Eula Lucy Azevedo, Fateh Abraham, deceased members of Christine and Vincent Patel and family, Agnes and Michael Kinney and Mary Patel, Jerome and Annie Menezes, Icy and Peter Gonzalez, Peter and Flory Fernandez and Julie Thambe. Bring unto joy, give glory to God. Lift up your hearts and sing. Let all creation tell of His name. Praise Him for.
Christ our Lord, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We ring out our joy to the Lord, we praise Him and thank Him for many gifts that He showers on us. And in a very special way, we thank the Lord for the Feast of the Assumption of Our Lady, which we celebrate in the Church, and also the Feast of Independence, our country set free from foreign rule. And as we pray for our nation and its leaders and its citizens, let us also pray that each one of us, like Mary, will be like a citizen of God's Kingdom, not only praying to and worshipping God, but also seeking His blessings as we give gratitude to Him. We spend a few moments in silent prayer, thanking the Lord and seeking forgiveness and pardon for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us glorify the Lord together.
a reading from the book of Judith. In those days, Uzziah said to Judith, O daughter, you are blessed by the Most High God above all women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, who created the heavens and the earth, who has guided you to strike the head of the leader of our enemies. Your hope will never depart from the hearts of men as they remember the power of God. May God grant this to be a perpetual honor to you and may he visit you with blessings because you did not spare your own lives when our nation was brought low but have avenged our ruin walking in the straight path before our God. And all the people said, So be it, so be it. The people raised a great shout and made a joyful noise in their city. The word of the Lord. Our response is, kindly listen to the tune. Exults in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. Together. My heart is in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. Together. My A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. You were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but to love, serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite, and devour one another. Watch out that you are not consumed by one another. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. The word of the Lord. Behold, from now on, generation will call me blessed.
that time Mary said my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant for behold from now on all generations will call me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name and his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation he has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts he has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty he has held the servant israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to abraham and to his offspring forever the gospel of the lord is Brothers and sisters, on a day like this, where we celebrate twin feasts, both which have allusions to liberation, to freedom, we find a lot of uncanny coincidences in these celebrations. The people of Israel were in Egypt for over 430 years. They were in slavery, they suffered, and it was their cries that led our Lord to bring Moses into their lives as a leader in order to set them free to confront Pharaoh our own country was under slavery for over 200 years and during this time there were a lot of atrocities against the people especially the poor and many freedom fighters came forward gave up their lives in the fight against slavery in the fight for freedom and so in the year 1947 when our country received independence the gift of independence it was a celebration of being liberated of being set free from the oppression of foreign rule and that is why every year on this day while we have the hoisting of the flag, we also hear a lot of speeches. Whether it is from the government, whether it is from children or important people that keep reminding us about the joys of independence, the responsibilities of independence. And it is on such a day that we are blessed as a church to also celebrate the assumption of Our Lady into heaven, body and soul. A dogma that was presented by the church decades ago. And a dogma that reminds us that Mary has a special role to play in the church, just as all of us, the children of God, who believe in His presence and who follow Christ. We pay attention to our three readings of today. The first reading from the book of uh, Judges, we find Judith. Judith was one who helped the people of Israel. She nearly gave up her life so that the people would be free. 
and there is an address which you read. And there is a line that I'd like to use in reflection where Uzziah says to Judith, May God visit you with his blessings. May God visit you with his blessings. Judith indeed was someone very special, someone who helped the people of Israel. And therefore, she is accorded a special place in the history of salvation. We find in the second reading, St. Paul writing to the Galatians, and it appears as if this is a direct address to us, the citizens of an independent country. And St. Paul is saying, do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Once again, what emerges from the text of the Galatians is that we are all citizens of a nation, all of us with a different background, a different temperament. We must respect one another, respect these differences that we have and be able to live together and at the same time celebrate the fact of our independence and our identity as citizens of this country. So what St. Paul is telling us is that we must do this with love because that is the commandment that comes to us from God and from Jesus. And whenever there is love as the underlying principle of whatever we do, then it becomes like a passion. And it is this passion that we must always use in our relationship with God, with others, ourselves and most importantly the nation to which we belong. In the gospel text we find Our Lady magnifying and praising the Lord and the one line that emerges from the text of the hymn that she sings, the Magnificat, is that the Lord has done mighty things for me, has done great things for me. And indeed, if you look at the text of the Magnificat, Mary is in many ways describing what the Lord has done for the people and therefore Mary internalizes this and makes it a hymn of praise representing the whole of the people of Israel. There is such a lovely description of what the Lord has done. And indeed, if we were to use these words as well, for our own hymn of praise to God, for our nation, for our liberty, then we must be grateful for many things. Grateful for the fact of democracy, for the fact of this freedom that we enjoy, for the freedom of choices that we have. And all this has come at a price. There have been people who have laid down their lives for our country, and we must remember that their sacrifice must never go in vain. And so if I were to use the words of John F. Kennedy at his inaugural address as a president, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. It is our responsibility as citizens to be able to use the resources that we are blessed with for the greater glory of God, we should be able to respect people around us considering that we live in a multi-pluralistic religious society, different people, different religious orientations, and at the same time when we respect each other, we must never allow the sins of the flesh to devour us. The words of St. Paul in the second reading. India is a great country and we are people filled with a lot of resources and we must make it a point to be able to share these resources with the people. So often we talk of the great divide between the haves and the have-nots. Mary in the hymn of praise also talks about this division but she speaks about the Lord who favors the poor. 
And therefore, in our times today, we must be on the side of God, reaching out to the poor, the vulnerable, the people who are suffering. And we do this once again using the words of St. Paul. We do this with love. We do this with the passion of love. I want to go back to the words of Uzziah to Judith in the first reading. May the Lord visit us with his blessings. Indeed, he visits us each and every day of our lives. When we are kept free from so many difficult things that happen around us. When we are saved from the poison of sin. When he showers on us blessings galore, we must be grateful. And this gratitude that we show must be evident in how we reach out to people, in how we do the best that we can to strengthen the unity in our country. When we make our efforts to save our common home, the environment, when we save our electricity, we save water, we save food, and at the same time, we are able to make sacrifices for the church and for our country. Our Lady was assumed into heaven, body and soul, as a very special privilege. And we know that this fact of assumption was a passive act because she believed in the Lord. The assumption is different from the ascension. In the ascension, it is an active act of the Lord. But in the assumption, we know that Mary was taken up to him. And this is what each and every one of us would yearn to do, to be taken up to heaven, to be with God, to be with Jesus, to be with Mary. And for all this, we must strive to be like Mary, a woman of faith, a woman who always followed the will of God, a woman who loved and put that love into practice in everything that she did. We pray that through the intercession of Our Lady, our entire country, our city, our world, and even our own homes and families will be set free from the poison of sin. And that each and every one of us will celebrate the fact of our liberation. Amen. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated to the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With Mary and Judith, our hearts exalt the Lord our Saviour, for he visits us with his blessings. Grateful as we are for his blessings, especially of the freedom we celebrate as a nation, let us pour out our hearts to God with faith. Our response is, Gracious Lord, 
hear our prayer all together. Gracious, Gracious Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For Pope Francis, the bishops, clergy, and religious, that their lips may always be filled with praise for God who has created us and showers his blessings on us because of his love for us. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. For our great nation, that our government, our leaders, and all the citizens may be grateful for the treasures that we possess as they set aside petty prejudices and cultural differences to celebrate our solidarity and unity and the well-being of the poor and the vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that like Mary, we may carry Jesus into every encounter we have, every relationship we share, and every act of love we perform for God's greater glory. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. For the Kripa Global Family, that they may persevere in their efforts to liberate those struggling with substance abuse and give them a sense of dignity and purpose for living. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are enslaved by addictions of various kinds, that they may have the right mentorship and direction to emerge from their conditions and live for the greater glory of God. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal needs and the situation in the world, the pandemic, the irregular weather conditions, forest fires, for a peaceful solution to the crisis in Afghanistan. That God may listen to our prayers we offer in faith. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. Abba Father, our hearts are filled with praise for your generosity and love and the blessings of democracy and freedom. As we surrender ourselves to you, your will, like Mary, and for listening to the prayers we have made through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice in mind may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed to heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Jesus Christ. For the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church is coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly you show you would not allow her to, set, to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you 
and with joy we proclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat the Lord's bread and drink the Lord's cup, we proclaim As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and also with our bishop and all the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. There is offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, 
we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection. We thank you for the blessings of freedom that we enjoy as a nation. May we always respect each other, may we love one another as we serve each other, and everything that we do may be for the greater glory of you and your Son Jesus, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A few announcements. Holy Communion will continue to be distributed in the church premises from 11, uh, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. every Sunday. From today, we are also beginning with Holy Communion for the sick and the homebound, all those whose names have been registered. The extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be coming to you between 10 a.m. and 12 noon today and on every third Sunday of the month till things ease out and we get permissions from the civic authorities to be able to open our places of worship. We thank you very much for your contribution towards Diani Sunday. If there are still some of you who would like to drop in your contributions, you may do this by placing the same in an envelope titled Viani Sunday Collection and you can put it in any of the boxes that you will find in the Shamiana where communion is being given or on the first floor outside the parish office. Checks to be written in favour of Archdiocese of Guampumbe with your name, your address, your contact number and your PAN card number as well. On the Feast of the Assumption of Our Lady, we have a very special prayer of consecration of the Archdiocese to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I request you in your homes to stand now and as we pray this prayer, this consecration, let us believe in the power of the blessings of the Lord that have been coming to us through Mary, our Mother. O Mary, choicest daughter of God the Father, mother of Jesus and spouse of the Holy Spirit, we joyfully greet you on this feast day of your glorious assumption into heaven and come before you on the anniversary of our nation's independence to consecrate ourselves and our archdiocese to your immaculate heart. Into your hands, O mother of the church, we lovingly entrust all our bishops, priests, and religious, men and women, who with prayer and apostolic works sustain the possible trust of the archdiocese, as well as our seminarians and novices who are preparing themselves for service in your Lord's, in your son's vineyard. We consecrate to you all our families, parents, children, and the youth our friends and benefactors, our broken families and lapsed Catholics in our Archdiocese, our sick, poor, aged and lowly brethren, and all those who are being discriminated against or are being denied their human rights and liberties. We confidently place under your maternal protection our parishes, our small Christian communities, associations and institutions, our schools and colleges, our hospitals and clinics, our homes for the aged, the abandoned, the disabled and the dying. O Mother of all humankind, we pray for the spiritual and political leaders of our nation. We also lift up our sisters and brothers of other faiths and denominations that we may all live as loyal citizens united under the same national banner and as children of the loving Father who is in heaven. We recommend to you in a special way those who misunderstand, ill-treat or persecute us 
Teach us to forgive them, for they know not what they do. Holy Mary, Mother, Mediatrix of all graces, intercede for our beloved motherland before the throne of Almighty God, and that many may be led to acknowledge as their personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with God the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you and our country with his blessing. May you who know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the altar of life. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to the Lord. the honor of our people, O Virgin Mary, the joy of Israel, your among all the for you treasure the world in your heart. You were taken into heaven, into heaven, into heaven, into his marvelous love, into his marvelous love. Nagana mana vina yaka jaya he Bharata bhagya virata Panjava sinna gujarata marata Dravida utkala bhanga Vindya himachala yamuna ganga Ujjala jala zidharanga Tava Shubha Nami Chage Tava Shubha Ashisha Mage Gare Tava Jaya Gata Jana Gana Mangra Ladayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He A happy feast to all of you, happy Independence Day and a happy feast of the Assumption.